welcome back to another video. Today we're at Morton Island. Pretty much this is our first family camp trip here. I uh, brought the Luxie along, uh, son Jasper and the wife Renee. Just quickly show you the camp setup. So we are pretty roughing it here guys. So this is our tent. Got our gazebo set up with the kitchen through here. And then we got beautiful views out to the ocean. So if you want to know what campsite this is, it's WBS11. Um, it is south of the Tangaluma Resort, south of the Rex. Um, this, these campsites don't have showers or toilets or water. So if you're going to camp here, make sure you bring your water and your toilet and shower stuff. So yeah, it's literally camping, like proper camping. So yeah, anyway guys, we did get here yesterday and set up. Had a bit of a rough one with Jasper, but um, we sorted him out and Today we're going to head up to the lighthouse and maybe the Honeymoon Bay, I think it's called. Um, so yeah, we'll bring you along with us. So we're, we're just on the way to the lighthouse along the track and we come across the Five Hills lookout so we thought we'd come up and have a look and see what it's all about. Uh, just one thing, don't wear thongs, put your enclosed shoes on. We do have enclosed shoes on, shoes in the car but um, we thought this track would be easy but it's really soft sand so anyway. So it is very windy, but as you can see by the drone footage, it is well worth the walk. It's not very, um, very far to walk, but yeah, recommend that you put some shoes on and don't mind my backpack, dad life. So we just got to the east side of the island. We went and visit, visited the champagne pools. Oh, by the way, this is Jasper, everyone. So hello, this is my son. So yeah, we just got over. Um, yeah, went to the champagne pools. Now we are on the east side going up to the lighthouse. So it is, I don't know if you can walk from the champagne pools. You probably could, but it'd be a bit of a hike. <laughs> um, it's better to drive to the east side drive up the beach and then you can pretty much there's a car park that we just parked at and you just park and it's literally what well, you saw i was just at the car and this is the gate here so it's not far walk at all nothing compared to um di lighthouse so yeah
so we just got back to camp. We had to rush back because we had a little shitty backseat passenger um, that really wanted to get back. So um, I didn't feel much. As you guys have seen, we went to the North Point and on the way stopped at the Five Point. No, it's Five, is it? Five Point Lookout. Um, went for a bit of a walk up there and then, yeah, ended up at North Point. And then we crossed over to the east side of the island to go have a look at the lighthouse. And that was pretty cool. It's a pretty old lighthouse. And yeah, got a little bit of drone footage that I'll play now. And yeah, ended up back at camp. So I think we're just gonna chill out for the Arvo and see what tomorrow brings. All right, guys. So day three at Morton Island. We're just heading back over to the east side of the island but on the way we saw the sign for the desert but yeah so the plan is today um, to go over back over to the east side of the island and check out the bunkers this part wasn't on our to-do list today but we drove past the track so we thought we'd quickly stop and have a look and then we're going to head down to the gutter bar for lunch so enjoy today's videos So we just made it across the rocks, it was high tide, so um, we did have to cross the rocks, it was pretty sketchy. Got Renee to get Jasper out, um, other people behind us just are waiting for the low tide, but we got across, perks of having a pretty high four drive. Made it to the first bunker, I believe it's the first, um, it's in between the coordinal markers S11 and S13 somewhere. It is, these ones, or well, this one here you can't walk through, so there is a fence down there, so it's best off just checking it out from there because you can't get into them. Um, but yeah, we'll head along the beach and see if there's more, which I'm pretty sure there are, and see what they got to offer. All right, so we just got back to camp. Um, bit of a run down. Did not find the other bunkers. We just found that one bunker. I think you got to go on the walking track for a while to find the other ones. Um, so maybe we'll find them next time. But yeah, went down to the gutter bar. Um, food was excellent. We just got the basket one, I think it was called, or just the seafood basket and shared it and the oysters. Um, Mrs. and I approve of the fish and chips. They were probably the best fish and chips we've ever had, so good on your gutter bar. Anyway, so we're going to chill out for the afternoon, maybe go for a swim, and then it'll be snorkeling at the wrecks tomorrow. Righto, so we're pretty much packed up camp. That's, today was the last day. We're going on the 10 o'clock barge home. Um, let me know if you like these videos because this is the first camp video I've done. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. And remember to like and subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.